My small business, starting to get a little bigger. But my small garage, it's getting a lot smaller. It's the brand new Thunder Laser Nova Plus 35 60 watt RF CO2 laser. Today on Laser Nug. Welcome back to the channel. It's been an exciting couple of days. On today's first episode on the Nova Plus, I'm gonna take you from truck to full install. And on the next video, we're gonna connect it up into Lightburn, do all of the software changes and get it fired up and ready to do its first engrave. Let's get started. So before your unit arrives, the first thing you need to do is decide where in your home or your business you're gonna place the laser. When the laser comes in off the truck, it weighs 825 pounds when it's crated. And given that there's a lot of wood in that crating, I'd probably say there's about 150 pounds of wood in there, which means the unit itself is gonna weigh about 650 pounds or so, I, I would gather. The specs on the laser, it's five feet by 45 inches by 45 inches, but the crate that you're gonna receive is gonna be six foot by 50 inches by 50 inches. So once you've determined where you're going to be putting it, recognizing the weight involved, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that space maintains that ambient temperature you see in the specs in the manual. And I believe that's 59 degrees to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're gonna be putting it in your garage like I have, you need to make sure your garage is heated if you live in an environment that goes through winter or really cold temperatures. That said, you wanna make sure that you've requested tailgate service so that they have a means by which to get it off the truck and onto the ground for you. And you wanna make sure that you're clearing a space for this unit that at least has 10 feet on either end of the crate. Because we're not gonna unload from the sides, we wanna unload from the ends. And that should provide you ample room to get the laser out of the crate and onto your concrete floor. You're gonna wanna make sure that you've purchased a CO2 fire extinguisher. No other class, not an A, B, or C, but a CO2 is what you need for that laser. You're also gonna wanna make sure you've got a 15 amp outlet close or around where you're gonna be placing the laser. You wanna make sure you, you've got your outside exhaust vent installed. And I'd recommend that before the unit actually gets here, that you wanna take some time to read through the user manual. You'll find it online. I'll leave a link in the description of this video where to find it on Thunder Laser's website. And preferably, you should probably try to watch as many videos that are available on YouTube, kinda of like this one. On delivery day, you're gonna want a few tools ready. Plus, hopefully a buddy or an extra set of hands for when you roll it out of the crate and onto the ground. After all, 650 to 700 pounds, and you don't want it running off down the driveway on you. Here are the tools you're gonna to need. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your two foot level, a big garbage bag, a flathead screwdriver. You're gonna want an impact driver with a Phillips driver head on it, or a Phillips screwdriver if you wanna do it manually. You're gonna need a crowbar, a hammer, preferably leather work gloves, safety glasses, a crescent wrench, or what some people call an adjustable wrench that will give you, I think, three quarters of an inch. You're gonna need wire cutters and you're gonna need duct tape. And lastly, I'd give yourself three and a half hours to get it out of the crate and physically installed. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the lid off. This crate has been put together using very long shipping staples and they're super sharp. So you're gonna need your hammer and your crowbar to get under there and lift the lid off. Be careful, of course, not to scratch it across the top of your laser. Then you'll wanna grab your impact driver and your Phillips head, and you're gonna take off the two brackets on each corner of the crate. Grab your crowbar again and start separating the sides. The unit has the sides stapled to the ends. So you're gonna to wanna to pull away from the ends. An important suggestion, don't totally remove the sides of the crate yet. You wanna remove them or separate them from the ends, but leave the bottoms attached because that will give you kind of a constraint so that when you're rolling the laser down the ramp, you know the wheels are gonna to try to swing that laser sideways and leaving the sides of the crate will keep it on trajectory so that it goes down the ramp and does not slide off the side of the crate while you're trying to roll it out. I think we've all seen several YouTube unboxing videos where that's happened. The next step is you're gonna to wanna to bend both end pieces down onto the ground, but try your best not to separate it from the crate. You'll see here I just twisted it down and stretched the staples, but we're gonna be using those end plates, or at least one of them, to slide the laser right off and use it as a ramp. 
At one end, all of your accessories will be piled up. So grab your knife, slit that cellophane open and get them out of the way. You'll see that there are three two by two structural components on the top of the laser, connecting the two sides together. Just grab your crowbar and hammer again, remove one side. And once one side has been unfastened, you can just grab and twist the second side and get them off, but don't throw them out yet. You're going to need them. It's also important to grab your hammer and then pound down those staples on the sides of the end that you're going to be sliding the laser out so that they're not going to be scratching the finish on the laser as it comes out of the crate. And you remember those two by two pieces? This is where they come in handy. You're just going to want to slide them down around the middle to provide support to the ramp when you move the 650 pound laser over that piece of plywood. The laser has four heavy duty casters, one in each corner of course, and right beside it you'll see a heavy duty rubber foot. Surrounding each of the feet on each corner, you're going to find some pieces of plywood that have been nailed in basically to keep the feet or the unit from shifting during transport. Just grab your crowbar, peel them up. You're going to need to peel all four off because those pieces of plywood are actually holding the feet down. And in order to use your crescent wrench to get them loosened, you're going to need to remove all of those pieces of plywood on each of the feet on all four corners. Once you have the plywood removed from around each of those four feet, you want to slide in underneath, use your crescent wrench, loosen up that bottom nut. Also try to turn your wheels to face the direction you want to slide the laser out on or roll the laser out from. After you start to loosen that foot and you relieve the pressure off the foot and onto the roller, you're easily going to be able to just spin that foot up and get it up a few inches to make sure that it doesn't hit the ramp on its way out. Now you're ready to roll that laser out of the crate and onto the ground. This is where your buddy comes in handy. I'll remove my packaging, get it out of the way, and then roll the laser into the garage. I'm carefully going to remove all of that cellophane and the foam corners off of the laser. Let's put our signal light up and before I forget I'm just going to make sure that the emergency stop has been released. We'll take a look inside. The fit and finish of this laser is outstanding. I'm really pleased with this purchase. The Nova Plus comes with a number of accessories. You've got an air pump, a toolbox that's got a number of different items in there you're going to need. It comes with the exhaust fan and 20 feet of piping. And a surprise was that you actually have a sample material kit that was included with the laser. Nice. So you can test it out on a few different types of materials. I'm going to install the air compressor first. That air compressor will have a very dense foam piece that's taped to it. Don't throw away that piece of foam. You're going to want to sit your air compressor on top of it on the floor so it helps to absorb any vibration. I was considering putting some thread tape on this connection, but I thought I'd just put it in and just use finger tight firmness for now. If I find it's leaking, I'll unscrew it again, put some thread tape on it and put it back. But I did not use a wrench. I just finger tight it nice and firm. I'm going to put it down on the floor underneath the laser. I appreciate the design of this cabinet because there's enough space on the back that I can roll the cabinet over top of the air compressor as well as the exhaust fan, which means I can get it closer to the wall. The air hose connects to the laser just with a compression fitting. You literally just have to stick the hose in and it will grip it automatically. If you ever need to release it, you just take your fingers, push that white ring in and it'll release the hose for you. You can take the cord and you can plug it into the appropriately labeled port on the back of the laser. Next we're going to put our exhaust fan together and get it on the laser. It's going to come with three six inch o-rings for you to connect. We're going to want to put one of those 10 foot exhaust pipes onto one end 
with one of the rings, firm it down, and we're going to put the other one on the other end, and then we're going to put it down behind the laser. On the top of the exhaust fan itself, you'll see that there's a directional arrow that's telling you which way the airflow is going. And of course, you want the arrow to point to the outside. We're going to grab another one of these O-rings. We're going to attach it to the vent in the back of the laser and again, firm it up with a flat head screwdriver. We'll take the other end, we'll connect it to our exhaust vent to the outside. And in this case, I'm just going to put a small piece of aluminum tape on it just to hold it in place. It fits really tight around that boot, so I don't need a lot of tape on this, at least not at this point. I'm going to grab my cord, I'm going to plug it into the appropriate socket in the back of the laser. There are three cable ties that hold your honeycomb in place during transport, and as you can see, one of them will carry a bag that has the keys to the laser as well as a number of different pieces such as the thumb drive in the event you need it, as well as your offsets and a few other things. On the right side upper door of the laser, it's not only locked with a key, but it also has two small hex nuts that hold it in. So I'm gonna jump into my toolbox that they provide, and inside you'll see that they provided you a small set of hex drivers. So we're just going to jump into the inside of the laser and you'll see that there are two screws there on the inside and we're just going to remove those. I was just kind of curious to make sure there were no other fasteners or any other cable ties. So I just popped open the front door, took a look at it, Another really helpful feature of this Nova Plus is it comes with not only a honeycomb bed, but it also comes with a cutting bed. Pretty much our last step, or our close to last step, is we're just going to plug in our power cord and we're going to move the laser into place. So that pretty much wraps up the physical installation of the Nova Plus 35. One last thing you may want to do, you may either want to lock your casters, because all four of them have locking mechanisms on them, or you may want to drop your rubber feet back down, use your adjustable wrench, firm them down onto the ground, and make sure that your unit is relatively level, both side to side and front to back. From there, I need to connect this USB into the computer and load it into Lightburn. Next time. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you found it informative or helpful. Have a wonderful week. Have a lot of fun with your laser. And I'll see you again on the next one. I'm Gord Potter. And you've been watching Laser Nug. Cheers.